Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back in again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally checking out the remainder of the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse. This is the Merciless Build-A-Figure Wave featuring the Crow Robin and then also the Sky Tyrant, the Batman Who Laughs. And yes, all four figures that you get from this wave builds this massive Merciless figure. Always nice box art. You see it's got Dark Knight's metal on the side right there to coincide with the respective comic books that have been coming out and to which McFarlane has been mainly focusing their action figure endeavors. And as you can see on the back, you get all the different parts, what makes up the build a figure, really nice artwork for each of the different figures. Here are the barcodes if you need them. These are starting to hit Target stores now so good luck these are just amazing figures very excited to finally have this dang crow robin and then finally build the build figure yada yada anyways this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new mcfarland toys dc multiverse the batman who laughs sky tyrant variant and then also a crow robin and if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel where I take a look at lots of retro action figures, new action figures, toy news, constant news updates. There's something here for you. I definitely guarantee it. Hit the subscribe button, turn on my notifications, and I'll see you around the YouTubes. And here's all the figures and the build figure all built up out of the packaging. And this is just what's fun about the new McFarlane DC Multiverse figures they are figures character designs we have never seen in plastic before and man does it just form fit to the mcfarlane formula so well like all the other previous releases each of the figures comes with a trading card featuring the artwork from the packaging and if you want to go ahead and screen grab it you can kind of find out about it's a very loose bio for both we'll just say crow robin could be any number of robins could be Billy Batson, Damian Wayne, Bruce Wayne, and then of course you have the Sky Tyrant Batman laughs. It's based off a comic book cover. That's really it. Takes Hawkman's wings. <laughs> you get it. But dang, if these don't just look fantastic. Stoked to talk about them. Let's get into it. Let's start with the Batman who laughs. Again, being the Sky Tyrant version of the character. Now, this is foremost just a one-off comic book cover. That topic finally looked cool and, you know, hey, let's make a figure out of it. Which, hey, it does work. And it's a way to kind of do another Batman Who Laughs figure in a way. But have it be something unique and scary and everything else. It kind of looks like the Wings of Redemption spawn a little bit, right? The wings are removable. They simply just peg into the back right here. Big Hawkman harness that the Batman Who Laughs has equipped. And it's the sculpt of the figure, the hands, the hands are also twisted and creepy. The wings are gorgeous, huge wingspan, really nice wash over them. Just the detail alone, that's, that's fantastic. You know, if they want to reuse those for Hawkman, Hawk Girl, something like that, boom, you got the wings already. The harness, the teeth, the smile, the fact that the Batman who laughs now has his mouth open, his sinister grin, his nth metal helmet harness, Hot Topic gear, all that kind of stuff. It just works really nicely. Love the articulation on them. It fits my needs. You get them all kinds of cool poses. Put the wings up, down, fold them around. It doesn't matter. But the Batman Who Laughs, the original release, this one, yeah, they work well. And you can swap the heads, which is equally as amazing. So if you want the standard standalone look for the Batman Who Laughs, laughing his head off, or it's the more stoic Sky Tyrant version, yeah, you can definitely achieve that. And dang, do they look menacing. Now we go from Sky Tyrants to Chained Up Children. This is one of three Crow Robins that come from this particular line. There are two other versions, as you can see from these gorgeous photos right here. The details, the sculpt alone, the fact that the Robin costume has been turned into this otherworldly creepy creature... It's fantastic, and he's all dirtied and muddled, and his skin's all cracked, and his little boots, and his white skin, his pale white skin, but the belt is awesome, the tattered cape, man, this is a fantastic, this looks like artwork brought to life, and that is what McFarlane does so well. The grin, the teeth, the eyes, the facial expression, the real chain that hooks on, hook right there around his neck, give him the Batman who laughs, taking him out for a walk. A little stroll around the multiverse, right? 
Imagine getting three of these. Yeah, you're definitely going to like it. The articulation is okay. It gets a little cumbersome here and there. A lot of it's hidden within the aspects of the suit. It's very rubberized in the torso, but it looks good. It works. And for what you want to use this particular type of figure for and to put them around the Batman who laughs, they nailed it. This is a gorgeous looking action figure. Which then finally brings us to the massive Build-A-Figure for this particular wave of DC Multiverse. The Merciless, Bruce Wayne of Earth-12, a basically Batman mashed up with the Ares God of War from Wonder Woman lore. And what's really funny is the logo right here, I'm thinking WWF, right? I'm like, how did no one see that? And then somebody messaged me and goes, it's kind of like the Whataburger logo, so... This is just a very fun figure overall. Nicely sculpted details, beautifully painted, nice wash. It's a huge, massive figure. Tons of sculpting details from the fur that situates around his neck to the chains. Ah, the one bummer is that the, the Robins come with real chains. I wish this figure could have utilized those chains. That would have been so cool just to have real chains on this guy. Just give him that extra oomph right there. But... He is, while well, you know, a big, massive, bulky, armored figure, he's not hindered, but you're not going to get super posability out of this guy. You'll get just enough to really set him up and make him look menacing. So for that, I'm stoked on him. Be careful around the joints of the arms. I had a few instances where the left arm would pop out on occasion. Nothing breaks. But just on the FYI, just go slow, go easy on him. And that's something that I think a few of the McFarlane Toys figures this year have kind of had issues with. The arms kind of pop out right there at the butterfly joints. But if you want to match him up again with, let's say, the Batman and the infected Superman from this particular wave, he's giant, he's massive, he's exactly what you should see for the type of character for the Merciless of the Dark Knight's metal. So he fits in beautifully with these characters. And something I just want to point out real fast. While I was getting these off the Target store shelf, there was a woman next to me, and sometimes this does happen, where, you know, they'll ask and say, hey, you know about these. Can you help me out? Who am I looking at here? And she ended up taking the Batman figure, which I said, you know, out of all of these, you know, asking, okay, how old is their son? How, what is he into? Yeah, yeah. The Batman works for kids. This is why there's so many Batman figures. The Robin, this infected Superman, that's going to be terrifying to kids, especially kids nowadays that either don't collect a whole lot of action figures or just know Batman and Robin. But if you give them Batman and this Robin, it doesn't really fit for them. And I could see them being like, I don't know what to really do with this. So let McFarlane make as many Batman as he wants. That way the moms and the pops and the grandpas and grandmas all have something to buy for kids who still like Batman. And for us collectors, we get Crow Robin, disgusting sky tyrant screaming Batman who laughs and the merciless and the characters we want to see. And that's really the, the best instance we could hope for. Keep the line going as best as we can. And we get all the characters that are just disgusting, gross, and just so nightmarishly cool. So for that woman that I talked to at Target, I hope that your little one enjoys that Batman figure. That's a great Capullo Batman, and he's got axes and everything else to play with. So very cool overall. And to really wrap things up, for this wave, in totality, this is a solid Batman modern comics wave. You got a lot of stuff that deals with popular artists, popular characters... Things that we haven't seen yet in plastic form, McFarlane Toys is bringing it to life. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the Sky Tyrant version of this Batman Who Laughs. It's just, it's the one out of all of them where I go, I, he doesn't fit with anything, he doesn't fit within the context of the story. He's just a cover brought to life, but he's a dang good, cool looking cover brought to life. The Merciless is fantastic. That's a gorgeous freaking figure. That's amazing. The Superman, infected Superman, he's amazing as well. I just love the, the sinister grin on him, the purple, the costume, how he fits within the context. Yes, you have to read the story in order to really understand what's happening. But he's creepy looking, and it fits with the whole McFarlane motif of just weird for weird sake, but have it be cool. And it sells. This Crow Robin is my favorite 
of the figures. He is just a menacing, a gorgeous figure. And when I find the other two, I will be getting those as well. Just a total of three. There seems to always be three Robins kind of mucking around with the Batman who laughs. So it's a perfect number, and it just the sculpts are beautiful on this. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about the entirety of this wave. Have you gotten any of the figures yet? Have you built the build a figure? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, just have fun with your figures. And if you don't care for them, don't get them, because eventually they probably will make figures that you know and love. And then you can go ahead and save some money in the meantime and buy them when they finally come out. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.